So in Subnautica Below Zero, we had the addition of some weather effects. Not much, but we had some. Subnautica original game, our, our weather effects were pretty much nighttime, daytime, nighttime, daytime, nighttime, daytime. And that is why it is time to check out a new mod that just came out on Nexus Mods, the aptly named Epic Weather Mod. So, as the name suggests, we get some epic type of weather. Now, you can wait for it to automatically trigger, which it will do on a cycle. Uh, or, you could go to your commands and start with set weather and just leave it like that. And it's going to tell you the options. Clear skies, light rain, thunderstorm, golden thunderstorm, foggy, and windy. Let's start simple. Set weather windy. And immediately... You hear the sound of wind, and it looks like it's gotten a little bit, like, grayer, not, not much. Not, not bad. Let's do foggy now. Oh, yeah, see it right there. Fog it just rolls in. You can't see anything. I mean, it still has a little glitchiness around, you know, the horizon, but look at that. Imagine having to maneuver with this. Uh, on the island. I mean, look at that. You can't see anything. Let's do light rain. So the fog goes away a little bit. Yeah, it has a little bit of like a haziness to it. Uh, you see actual rain effects. It, it's not just, oh, yeah, it's rainy. It's got sound. We get like some nice rain effects. It's not, it's not static you looking. You can see a, random as, a randomness to it. And I think this is kind of nice. Yeah, you've got, you know, rain. Oh, wait, wait, wait. That's, yeah, you see it splattering on your your mask. So it, it's they've def definitely thought this through. So here we have thunderstorm. Regular thunderstorm. You see we've got lightning. We see flashes on the terrain from the lightning. And it's not like, like that lightning strike there. I didn't see it just light up everything. It's directional. Like, lightning striking over to my side is lighting things up. Oh, and that, it was closer. It's louder thunder. It's It looked brighter. Looked like it was closer to me. Let's, let's turn this way, because apparently all the lightning's over here behind me. All right, and you can see the rain got a bit thicker. Uh, it still has that random pattern to it. Let's do this with nighttime. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. Nighttime with a thunderstorm and you see oh see how that's lighting up i'm gonna look over this way apparently all the, the the lightning's over here when i'm not looking and it's still not but it, oh there you go i caught a little bit of it but there's one more type of weather the golden thunderstorm one, probably not the normal weather pattern you're used to seeing there you go. Golden thunderstorm. Somebody obviously is, is a fan of a, a, an unknown other game. We're not gonna say which one it is, but obviously they're, they're a fan of some other game. So that's the different weather types, but it goes beyond just manually triggering them and of course letting them rotate on their own. Let's say you just want to create a theme of it's just this really overcast foggy area we do set weather foggy and then go and type in pause weather and what pause weather does is it doesn't like stop the weather like uh, you know it doesn't stop the weather uh itself like completely just goes back to vanilla it locks the weather and whatever it is so if you are using say set weather clear skies and you pause weather it basically disables the mod at that point in this case now i've locked it in where the fog will not go away now if you're going to do a lot of land-based exploring like building your base and everything this could be kind of interesting to have uh for that reason obviously once you get in the water especially down a certain depth you're not really going to get much effect from these but the mod also goes a little bit further on this. It's not just, hey, I, I want it to be foggy and I want to keep it foggy. You could use 
set fog and this has a, a bunch of command stuff with it. it it goes beyond just like you know on off like that so it's got uh, a few different features like red green blue so rgb coloration as well as like density uh above water surface brightness underwater surface brightness you got a whole bunch of stuff so we're just going to do the example given on the page of 0 0.1 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.02 and 0 0.5 and updated the fog. There we go. We got this. Yo, know, you see, it kind of changed where it's not as intense immediately around you, but it got much darker in the distance. It's almost like, you know, in like strategy games, the fog of war, where you can't see until you explore an area then when you get your units out of that area the fog comes back it's kind of like that it feels like we're just restricting ourselves but at the same time i can go back and say set fog uh you know we'll do like 100 100 and zero it should work i oh god radioactive fog uh okay <laughs> just clear skies sets it back so I am 200 plus meters down, coming from the underwater islands. It is supposed to be a thunderstorm right now. And obviously, that's one of the reasons why we don't have weather effects in Subnautica. Most of the time you're underwater, you're not going to experience it. About, you know, got to about 100 meters down and I start to see the effects. I hear the thunder. Okay, so it's not hearing anything now. No, not. Oh, there it goes. Yep, got some lightning effect. So it looks like anything below 100 meters down, you don't get the lightning effects. And of course, you know, you're, it's a dog. You're supposed to be underwater. Below zero, it makes sense to add weather to it because we did do a lot more land-based exploration. And that game, uh, this one, yeah, there's some land exploration, but it's meant to be an underwater game, which is why we didn't get weather. There's one more or two more things that you could do with this mod. One of those is set planet distance. And I can't remember what the actual default value was, but let's go with like 100. Oh no, we, we are inside the other planet. Oh. It's everywhere. The default is 10,000. So, you know, I'm going to go back to the default 10,000. There it is. So if you, you want to make it like 10 times closer, or I did 100 times closer to start with, you can feel like you're inside another world. But let's take it a step further. Let's make it 10, if I can type, 10 times further away. Boom, planet's gone. Like, oh, there it is. Now it's a moon. So you can set the planet distance. And then one more thing we could do is set water color. Now this is another one like the fog. It has a few different values. So we'll just do a, the example has got zero, one, one, zero, one, one. And boom, color, not nice color change to the water. And it does not affect anything underwater. It's just the above water, but it makes it you know, uh, a little bit more like a pool or a nice, clear uh, lake. So if you go to the mod page for this and you read down through the description towards bottom, it tells you all this stuff, all the things for this. But basically, set watercolor is the reflection of red, green, and blue, and then the refraction of red, green, blue. So it's two different, it's like, the first three numbers are the reflections. The second three numbers are the refraction. And so to restore it back to normal, in this case, do set watercolor and then six ones. And that's all you got to do. You set it back to the normal color. But you can play around with the color of the water. You can play around with the fog. If you are a fan of certain games where, you know, post-apocalyptic games, maybe you want to make Subnautica feel post-apocalyptic. You want to set weather to foggy and pause the weather and keep it always foggy. Again, once you're underwater, 
you're really not gonna get an effect, especially foggy. Look, let's let's go down. Uh, the, no, no difference here. So if you like the looks of this mod, hit that thumbs up button because it helps me out. And if you do check out the mod and you like it, leave it a comment below. What's your favorite part of this mod? Which one is it? Is it the golden thunderstorm? Leave it a comment. Let's see what everybody thinks of this mod. And of course, hey, if you haven't done so already, hit subscribe because it also helps me out.